Welcome back to Genuine Core guys. This is the fifth video in the Android Studio development tutorial series and so far we have developed this much and in this video suppose I want to add a like and share button. For that I want to add two buttons. One button here for sharing and one button here for liking the code. And for that we have to have two material design button first. There are a number of ways to get material design buttons. The easiest way is by using the Android material design icon generator and that is uh, installed as a plugin in your IDE. For that just close your project for now. Then coming back to this section there is an option called configure here just select the plugin section and inside that you can search for plugins here and just search material and you will get this option android material design icon generator this is very very useful when you develop applications so just install it in my case it is already installed then close it then come back to our genuine inspiration project okay it will take a little moment to load so that's fine so we got our uh, this back uh, then now what we want to do is we want to generate a material design button so for that I'm going to a new section and material design icon we want two icon so one for like that is will be uh, using a thumb so this will represent the like button so I'm going to select that and I'm going to give a color for this uh, we can use any kind of color but it will be better if we use the primary color so for that I am going to take my primary color from the value section from the color.xml my primary color is this one so again coming back to resources new then material design icon then I am going for thumb then thumb up then I am going to paste the color here so now we got the color there are two options vector image vector option and an image option it will always be better if you use vector because it will store image uh, you in a vector format rather than the pixel so it will be creative for various display screen sizes so I'm going for the vector option then give a name for that so I'm going to give a name the, the name thumb.xml so that's great yes now we need one more icon for sending and let me search the send option yes we got the send and the color will be the same instead of this i am going for send then it is a vector drawable so that's fine pressing ok again so we got two icons generated now i am coming back to the slide layout xml file then here we have the preview what we want is we want a linear layer one more linear layout here so we have already one linear layout and uh, here we can use another linear layout with the horizontal orientation and then we can add two buttons there so for that I'm going to add one more linear layout so linear layout here again I'm going for match pattern match the, here we have a weight sum of eight here then this is seven I'm setting that to six and here I am going to set the ratio to 1 here so a layout weight will be 1 I'm sorry it will be 6 uh, and uh, so there is a correction I'm sorry for that we will have to set this to 3 then 3 or maybe 4 here 4 so that is 4 4 then Oh, we have one so total nine now we have the three components here so first one linear layout for our buttons then one text view for showing the code and one text view for showing the name of the order and there is one more little change that I would like to make that is here in the text section I want to change the text color to pure black and that can be done using text color and I'm going to give hash 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, the color code for pure black and here we are in the linear layout in the in here we have to add two buttons this is not just normal button we are showing image button so I am going for image button here 
so image button then just like before i am going for match parent to match parent option so it will fill the entire available area in the linear layout i am going to change the orientation to horizontal since we are aligning the button in the horizontal direction then we have to give a weight sum here so for that i am giving two so that i can give weight for weight as one for each of the image button so it will take the area equally so and root layout width and root layout height and the image that we have to show in this image button can be defined using the source tag so android source equals then we have created a thumb image from the drawable and the created images will be available in the drawable folder so first i'm going for the thumb that can be used for sharing then there is one more interesting thing is the scale type the scale type is used to uh, configure how the image is displayed inside the available space suppose if we go for center inside then it will fit the available area from the center inside as the name suggests or if we go for crop center crop then you can see that it will not be bounded by the available space so here in my case i am going for center inside uh, or center fit center so it will be fit so that's fine it i'm going for fit center then one more thing is i want to set the background color to pure white so it is background equals pure white so i got it and i need one more button before that i have to define the weight so layout weight equals one and for the next button also i will give the weight as one in order to organize your code here in the code section there is an option of uh, rearrange code and reformat code so i'm going to reformat the code so it will be more organized uh, uh, so that's fine now i layout weight one layout weight one i want to change the source of this image from thumb to send and that's it so we got this much button so that's it guys that's the end of this video and the next video next video we will do the coding for both sharing the code and for uh, implementing the code liking option so as always thank you for watching this video and like the video if you like it and let me know your comments in the comment section so thanks